Yo, what's up guys? Andy from Tab Lab here back with another buying $1 of Bitcoin every day update. Today is day number 851. So Bitcoin at $37,000, down about 4% after Elon Musk's latest tweet, which is just like a meme, I guess. So people are still overreacting to Elon Musk tweets, up about 2% on the week, down 35% over the past month, up 280% over the past year. So still doing pretty solid you can see this kind of consolidation right there in this little bit of consolidation right here which is somewhat above this section so i think that's good only time will tell though you know we could see a dip much further doesn't really matter for this experiment because we just keep dollar cost averaging buying some every single day we've got some good news today uh jack dorsey weighing in on possible bitcoin hardware wallet we'll talk about that in a second yesterday someone sent me 0.00421965 Bitcoin. I don't even know how you got my Bitcoin address, but thank you very much for sending that. I went ahead and withdrew this to a different wallet just so we can keep this experiment intact and continue buying this $1 every single day as you see here. So let's go ahead and talk about this Jack Dorsey news. So he says, Square is considering making a hardware wallet for Bitcoin. If we do it, we would build it entirely in the open from software to hardware design and in collaboration with the community. We want to kick off this thinking the right way by sharing some of our guiding principles. So he goes on to give a lot of good information. I highly recommend reading this. It'll talk about the difference between like storing your Bitcoin offline on one of these hardware wallets first storing it with a custody which is something like cash app so he gives lots of good information here and right here number 11 in the middle of the screen he does talk about layer 2 which is kind of like something new coming to bitcoin like smart contracts on bitcoin he says layer 2 is essential for growth the orders of magnitude growth we imagine requires a mix of custodial off chain and second layer solutions that allow people to get off of a zero what tech investments can enable seamless scalable layer 2 native support for a hardware wallet so this is interesting I've wondered if Jack is like a Bitcoin maximalist which is a person that thinks like Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency that can exceed it's just the best of the best I don't like this way of thinking I think uh, there's other great cryptocurrencies and projects out there but I do like that he's thinking about layer 2 just because that could bring more potential stuff to do with your Bitcoin with in cash app so i don't know i would personally like to see cash app add other cryptocurrencies there's lots of other great projects out there that i invest in as well but i just don't think cash app is gonna ever have any of them i think they're just gonna stick to bitcoin which is kind of frustrating but i don't know it just is what it is at this point and there's nothing we can really do about it it doesn't seem like so moving on to today's purchase bitcoin owned 0.0873642 Let's go ahead, buy today's Bitcoin, tap buy, tap $1, tap next, scan my fingerprint. It's gonna give us our order details, tap confirm. And just like that, we've purchased today's Bitcoin. Let's scroll down here. Bitcoin owned now is 0.0873. 9089 slowly adding to our balance every single day let's go ahead and do the math on this three thousand two hundred twenty four dollars in my wallet three two two four divided by 851 days equals a 3.78x in my investment still doing very well what this means every dollar that i've put into this experiment I now have $3.78. So still excited about this. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Would you like to see Cash App add more cryptocurrencies? Would you like me to make a watch list of other cryptocurrencies that I like and do a similar experiment with those? What do you guys think about the Square Bitcoin hardware wallet? I think it'll be exciting to play around with and how they can integrate that into the Cash App interface and make it easy to use. So interesting stuff exciting stuff today not too worried about the price of bitcoin at all even if it goes down like i'm just going to keep collecting and buying more of all of these coins for me it's like buying property or land you know it's a land grab out here in these early days of crypto hope you guys enjoyed the video like and subscribe if you want to see more updates like this thank you guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one